Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va bien. Uh, it's so nice to share some stories and uh, reflections during this season of Advent, uh, especially this uh, third week of uh, uh, Advent season. We speak about uh, joy, okay? So today I would like to share um, a story or, or a reflection uh, to speak about joy, okay? There was a person moving from uh, one town to another town for a job, okay? So he packed all his things and he came to a new place. And then on the way he stopped at the gas station, you know? Then he pumped gas and bought some lunch for himself and asked the uh, place, you know, at the gas station, how is this place? I'm moving into this place. How are the people here? Are they kind, loving, and uh, uh, cheerful or uh, gloomy or uh, gossiping or uh, complaining uh, what kind of people you know then the shopkeeper asked him so you are coming from another town right how were the people in your town previous town he said oh I don't like that place at all people over there they talk all the time gossips and about people and they're not too kind and uh, not cheerful and not joyful. I really hated the community, so I'm just getting out of that place, moving to a different place. Then he said, maybe you'll find a similar people here too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll find the same people here as well. Yeah. Then uh, after some time, there was another person who was also moving to the, the same town from another town, he's, he was moving to this town uh, for a new job. Then he stopped and got his coffee, everything. And then he just inquired the shopkeeper, how about the people here in this place? Are they nice and uh, kind people, you know? Mm -hmm. Then he asked, uh, how were the people in your old town where, where you were before? Oh, I, I truly miss that community. They were so cheerful, very joyful community. Uh, they will do anything for you, you know. They always uh, go out of their way to support and uh, uh, go, go extra mile to help you and feel at home. And I will truly miss that community, you know. He said, then he said, you know what, you will find the same people here as well, yeah. okay. <laughs> people are like mirrors, you know. People are like a mirror. They reflect yourself, you know. You show kindness, you always receive in kindness. Yes. You show um, respect, you always re get back respect. And uh, you are joyful, and uh, you always find joyful people in your life, you know. Mm -hmm. It is how we treat one another, is what, how we will be treated, okay. So joy, joy is not something that you can buy or search for it and uh, uh, look for it. No. Joy is something you give and you receive, okay? Uh, kindness, respect, you don't buy them. We don't buy them. And uh, it's not available free. What we give is what we receive in return. Yeah. The seeds that we sow will be the fruits that we reap, okay? Yeah. Kindness, joy, uh, peace, love we sow, and uh, we will reap the fruits of joy, kindness, respect, and love. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For me, the joy that, what gives me joy is my family. Yeah. I said, that's why your family gives you joy, joy because they, it reflects what you give them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the mirror effect right yeah. there. Family, community, yeah. office, workplace, anywhere. Yeah. The thing is what you give will what you will receive mm -hmm. in return. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there is no point of complaining that people don't are not respectful or not uh, 
uh, kind enough, you know. You know, the more we give kindness and respect and joy, we will receive in return. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I get a great joy out of giving, but I don't give just to get joy. I mean, it automatically comes. And the more joy you have, the more you feel like giving. I mean, it's just automatic. The other way you can find joy is in serving. Yeah. You know, um, I like to serve, and especially serving the dying, because you know that it's their final time, and mm -hmm. to be able to serve them uh, in the dying process yeah. for me is a big thing, yeah. because I receive a lot of joy from yeah. them. And then also like uh, the birth of a child yeah. and oh, a yeah. newborn there. You hold that in your arms, it's like, wow. yeah. you know, it's... So much joy. Yeah, the oh, joy yes. is amazing. Yeah. So. I also feel joy when I come out of the confessional. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's peace, but it's oh. also I'm on relieved, cloud nine, relieved, of, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. full of joy. Yeah. yeah. The sacrament of confession, we experience experience so much joy because we feel so much burden is taken Lifted. off our shoulder. Yeah. You know, and uh, we feel so much. Uh, relieved and the freshness of oh, new yes. life having been forgiven you know that's yeah. a great joy we cannot explain yeah. that joy is not something that we can buy or uh, we can demand or look for yeah. but joy is something that you something give joy. you give and always receive okay the more we give the more we receive, okay? Uh, therefore, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity for us during the season of Advent uh, to practicing giving joy, okay? We make others joyful, no? In order to be joyful, we try to make others joyful, okay? And that way, we see, we receive joy through others in our lives. So I hope our parishioners, through this small reflection about joy, uh, will practice joy by sharing joy and uh, receiving joy through sharing. Yes. Okay. Have a nice day. God bless you. You too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Father. Father.